Put my sneakers in scuff uh-huh. Everyday pants in the week is enough I had a little money but it came and it went Now I see if pay the rent or stay in the tent In the fall of 1993, a month before his 19th birthday He mugged a stranger with a gun We were standing under the scaffold there on Park Avenue, 114th Street I was riding my bike I said, well, oh, give me the money, man the guy grabbed the gun, you know, and I pulled the gun back, and that's when I fired. How many times did you fire? Three times. He fled on his bike. As he left home the next morning, police were canvassing the neighborhood. They said, do you know anything about a shooting that occurred yesterday? And I said, nah. That made me think he didn't pass away because they said shooting. A week later, he got rid of the gun. And I went to the East River and threw it away. And that was the end of that? Yeah. What led you to walk into that police station? I think I was just at a point, you know, where there was like enough is enough. But nobody else knew about it? You could have just kept quiet and dealt with it on your own. The dealing with it was killing me. Coleman's memory of the incident was vague. I didn't realize it was hitting him or anything. I just, because I, I, didn't, I didn't see anything, on, you know, I, I just fired him. But police soon found the cold case of John Hankel, shot during October of 1993 at Park Avenue and 114th Street. And then after a while, you know, after I told him what happened, you know, he said, I just wanted to let you know that the guy died. Suddenly, you're charged in a murder. Did you start to have second thoughts? Nah. <laughs> 